impact of public art in a community or town is extremely positive. Adding public art to a community adds social, economic, and cultural value. But the real secret sauce is in its aesthetic vitality that the public sculpture lends to a specific location. We're lucky. We live in the woodlands, and we get to pass by public sculpture on our way to the grocery store, to school, or to work. One of the beauties of the Woodlands is we are an outdoor community. And so we're connected with 220 miles of pathways and 140 different parks. And it's great to get out, whether you're walking, you're running, you're cycling, and see the public art while you're out and about enjoying the beauty of the nature and the creativity of mankind. The Woodlands Arts Council is all about the art. So whether that's in an art festival, whether that's in an educational program, whether it's in an art bench, and who knows in the future uh, what else that we will dream up and dream of and make happen here in the Woodlands. One of the differential advantages we have in the Woodlands is the Woodlands Waterway. And at the time, we had a arts event that was taking place inside the pavilion. And Jerry McDonald and several of us came together and said, hey, what can we do to create a world-class festival and utilize the Woodlands Waterway? It thus that idea was born to create the Woodlands Waterway Arts Festival. So when we were expanding the Arts Council back in 2015, the festival had become very successful and uh, it just seemed like the logical next step for the Arts Council was to do something in line with George Mitchell, the founder of the Woodlands, and they created a public art project to help us raise funds to continue and grow our educational outreach programs. Today, the community enjoys 24 art benches, so if you take a walk or take the trolley from the Woodlands Mall to Town Green Park and Hughes Landing, you can see and enjoy these one-of-a-kind art benches. When we bring an art bench to the Woodlands, it takes two years. First, we reach out to the community and announce the underwriting opportunity. We have art benches that are underwritten by individuals who love art, our community, and are called to leave a legacy, along with local companies who feel the same way. A donation of $15,000 to $25,000 per art bench, determined by the location, benefits the year-round education and outreach programs of the Woodlands Arts Council. We compensate each artist a flat fee to cover their time and materials for the creation of the art bench. And then we put together a jury. They review each submission and pick the final three designs for the underwriter to choose from. Once the design is chosen, the artist is notified, construction begins, and then it ends with an installation by the Woodlands Township. The township helps with the site selection locations and then uh, we help with the installation. Uh, we insure them and we maintain them. The donation agreement that the township has with the Woodlands Art Council stipulates that they will be in that location for at least five years. We've had benches in their original locations for longer than six years. I believe some of the benches, because of their uh, size, their magnitude, and the materials that they have been made with, will be there probably in perpetuity. The positive effects of the art benches in the Woodlands has been tremendous. They're one of the pieces that makes the Woodlands different from all other communities. Having these art benches in our public art collection, and so it makes it a very special place in one of the greatest communities in America. We have seen the art benches throughout 
you know, our whole residence here in the Woodlands, and um, it definitely piqued our interest. We have a family friend who mentioned the art contest to us, and we looked into it through the Woodlands Art Council website. When we first started looking at it, we, we thought seriously and really hard about the word love, but we decided that we, we would add the letter D to it, the end of love. So to add the connotation of love, almost like in a way it's like a forever, something that will never change. We, you know, got together, collaborated, brainstormed. And our creative process goes from sketches to um, modeling and, you know, physically or just modeling um, and computer software wise. We also wanted to be interactive. So we tried to do all these, these kind of layers of um, you can speak through it and you can see it visually, but then you can also kind of experience it by sitting in it, taking photos. As an artist, being able to showcase something that's open for the public, anyone can see at any time, I think there's something really freeing about that. It's not enclosed, no one has to go to a gallery. It's very universal. And having the opportunity to have such a large audience that the Woodlands kind of brings to, um, the table is great for an artist. For us, I think, you know, down deep, we've always wanted to put some kind of a memorial or something in memory of our son uh, that we lost to cancer. And uh, when Debbie was approached, we just felt like this was uh, something that we could get involved in and be a part of and be excited about. To remember him in kind of a, a good, uplifting way. I hope the community will see this as an opportunity that they also can get involved and put up some kind of, whether a bench in memory of somebody and celebration of somebody that uh, goes into the woodlands. Because when we walk, uh, I notice other benches in memory of other people. And I think that's a wonderful thing. It's just a great way to make our township more beautiful. And to be a part of that, just as residents, it's very exciting. Art demands engagement, public art specifically. As you walk past it, it captures your attention. I think if people choose to engage with public art, they really enrich their lives. When do we ever spend time really thinking about how things make us feel? And when we do, we are sometimes uh, transported back, sort of a time travel in our own life, our own book of memories. Or we may look at a piece of public art and ask ourselves how it makes us feel, what does it remind us of, and that might jettison us forward in an idea that maybe changes over time. I would encourage people to engage with public art in the Woodlands, specifically the Art Bench Collection. Public art is free, and it's for everyone. Its very nature removes the barriers that exist between art and people. To give a gift of art to your community is a grand gesture of love and a living legacy of your contribution to the society.